It seems that Andros discovered the ancient power of the Krizoa, and by trapping Crystal, who had the ability to channel this power, he was able to use this energy to revive himself. If he was dead, how the f by himself is way too easy, and did they have to turn him into Arnold Schwarzenegger? And now, to destroy the Lilac system! <laughs> and now, to destroy the Lilac system! <laughs> How they impossibly destroyed what had to have been an awesome ending in just a matter of seconds defies all logic of the universe. At least this time we'll see the last of him! See? You mean Saw! And that better have been the last time! Oh look, Falco finally decided to show up at the end of the game! After you beat the game, you can't even go back to collect any of the 8 hidden coins you may have missed to unlock cool stuff. You can't go back at all. You have to start a new file. What the fox? See this? This sums it all up. <laughs> Star Fox insult. More like Star Fox assault. These levels still aren't nearly as majestic as the classics, but the graphics are beautiful. Hello? Hello? Look, a dead zone. Are you kidding me? It's empty. There's nothing here. Okay, we can get in over there. What a great game. The running levels are just awful. These graphics are dull. Fox's first shading is gone. Skates on stairs. And why is this snout so short? Basically, all you do on foot is shoot targets. It's so repetitive. Pepper looks like <laughs> The trees are just a bunch of intersecting sprites. Camera sucks. It keeps getting stuck. Enemies are generic. Controls are sloppy. And because everything always looks the same, you're always lost, which makes the time limits even more aggravatingly torturous. Great, now I'm lost. Everything looks the same. It's no good, Fox. Our battle plan's a failure. Most of the game is on foot, and there's nothing worse than beating one of these levels only to go to another. The voice acting is okay, but they never stop talking. Okay. Say it. One more time. Just one more time. Okay. Grenades are extremely powerful, but it's almost impossible to hit anything with them. Radar is vague and useless. The red dots are the targets. The bigger they are, the closer you are to their level. But even when the dots can't get any bigger, I still can't find the damn targets. Time is running out. Damn it! Now I have to start all over again. Now look at this. Small dot, big dot. Small dot, big dot. The radar is broken! Can't go on like this! I know! I can't take anymore! I'm out of here! Excellent idea. I tell my team. Falco, Slippy, the airborne enemies are all yours. But then moments later, Slippy tells me to help him. Fox, get the enemy! Would love to, Slippy, but time is running out, the R-Wing is too far, and I'm kind of busy looking for these damn targets! Besides, what did I tell you? Falco, Slippy, the airborne enemies are all yours. Follow. My. Orders. Yeah, Slippy's still annoying, and did they have to make him into a klutz? 
If the orange bar goes up, it's game over. To refill, you fly your R-Wing to the sky and shoot enemies. Not only does this go against the plan, but having to constantly go back to the sky is a pain in the ass. Seeing Tricky all grown up is pretty cool though. Star Fox Command. This garbage to the garbage can. A bad Star Fox 2 clone. They look like Fisher-Price toys. And it should have been mostly linear like Star Fox 64. Not just dull, invisible cubes. Yeah, all the levels are like Star Fox 64's all range mode, but abysmal. Star Fox 64! Destroy reactor heads, radiating energy beams to stop gravitational field, to destroy core panels, to destroy core and defeat Star Wolf team. Star Fox Command! Destroy two targets. Three targets. Five targets. Why are these games so damn dull? As annoying as being trapped in invisible cubes is, why couldn't any of them be as interesting as the ones in Star Fox 64? For the third time. Unlike only the classics, there's no imagination, complexity, diversity, or enchantment. Just insane repetition. Destroying targets, missiles, and bases throughout the entire game. Being asininely easy to maddeningly difficult. It's the same thing. Over and over and over again. Goes back to its roots by having them speak gibberish, and although it's cool that you can voice your own gibberish, an option for them to speak English would have been nice. Dialogue is cheesy and story is terrible. Fox kicks Crystal off the team because he's concerned of her safety, and what does she do? She joins the Star Wolf team. I knew that. Trouble. Graphics are very good, and even though the landscapes are depressingly bland and empty, and the buildings are horribly textured rectangular prisms, they do have their moments of beauty. Music is decent, and touch control is good, but can be unresponsive and finicky. And the option to use the D-pad and shoulder buttons would have been nice. Also, hitting small targets is a massive pain in the ass, because aiming is imprecise, and that timer is an ignominious inconvenience. It carries over to every next level, which makes it even more aggravating. And if that's not enough, you have a limited number of tries. And if that's not enough, you have to prevent Star Fox from getting torpedoed or it's game over. And if that's not enough, because you can only save after completing a map, if you lose, you have to start all the way back at the very beginning of the map and do everything all over again as if the game wasn't repetitive enough. What a shallow disappointment. Fox, go back to your roots. You know, ever since Adventures, Fox has been such an asshole. Okay, enough already. Can I just get on with it? Blast it, bugs. Die already. Now it's time to say goodbye. Disgraces to the Fox's legacy. Goodbye, Fox.